Welcome to the video guys. As you might remember a few videos I've made recently relating to the unmitigated disaster that is the European Union and its response to the current crisis. We all know how much they failed Italy at the start of this situation and I still can't find any concrete evidence that they have actually helped them with anything as of yet. They may have done so I could be wrong but it still kind of looks like everyone is just doing their own thing. With even the German Constitutional Court going against what the European Commission wants and possibly landing itself in hot water legally. Time will tell on that. But it seems the problems for the EU are not just political and economic. They are also social because there are reports of massive protests spreading across the European Union in multiple member state countries, which I'm sure surprises none of you is not being reported by any of the Ramonian rags who are usually so quick to promote the European Union. Instead, it is being reported in the Express as you can see here. Protests spread across the EU as violent clashes with police erupt in Spain's capital Madrid. Protests have broken out across the European Union, with Spain's capital Madrid the latest to erupt in anger at the government's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. Which of course, while they are protesting against the government, is also on the EU's head, because a lot of what the government can and can't do is decided by Brussels, as we all know. Furious protesters have taken to the streets across Europe as clashes with police break out in Germany, France, Austria, and now Spain. Which, let me tell you, is not good. These police going against protesters in these country will not end well for the police service after this situation is done. The public trust in them will be gone, as will a lot of respect, which will make their job harder after all this is blown over. The protests have been launched largely in response to the handling of the coronavirus pandemic from their national governments and the EU. Last night, violence broke out in the Salamanca district of Madrid following four days of street protests. So I suppose that means there's been four days of peaceful protests and it's now starting to kick off because they can see nothing is actually happening. Following two months of one of the strictest lockdowns in Europe, Spain's government is battling growing resistance to its handling of the crisis from fed up residents who have started organising street demonstrations against restriction. Which is something we all knew was possible and even the government said early on in this situation. That there is only a limited amount of time people will accept a lockdown for, which is why the government claimed the lockdown was so they can protect the NHS and build up its capacity, which they have actually done. So they really don't have an excuse for continuing the lockdown, but that is not the topic of this video. Spain began loosening the lockdown this week, allowing up to 10 people to gather together and enabling bars and restaurants to open up outdoor tables. Which, let me tell you, is more than we're allowed to do and they're kicking off over there. So I've got to say, the government and our police force are extremely lucky that the British people are a lot more calm and patient than the Spanish would appear to be here. However, large cities such as Madrid, Barcelona and Valencia have been blocked from this lockdown lifting plan as they were deemed to still be at risk of a spike in infections. Oh, so that explains why the people of Madrid are kicking off then. Everywhere else in the country is allowed to do this and that, but these three cities are not allowed to. Possibly a few more as well because they said large cities such as, not just those large cities. And you would have to call the people of these cities correct. It is literally discrimination if you ask me. These measures prompted the latest protest which was largely directed against Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez with many demanding his resignation. Dozens of people occupied a local square with one telling reporters, have I ever seen anything like this? Never on this street. In response, national police were deployed to defuse the situation, prompting tense clashes with protesters. Yeah, they really helped defuse the situation, didn't they? There was a significant police presence on Thursday following days of protest in the hope of squashing the anti-lockdown movement. I don't think you are going to be able to do that. Let me tell you that for nothing. The president of the community of Madrid, Isabella Diaz, from the Conservative Popular Party, encouraged the protest. 
On Thursday, she said that families are locked up in their homes and they can't go out and protest freely, even though it's just a little while in their own street. She accused the central government of imposing all kinds of barbarities. Well, they're doing that all over the world, it seems to protect you from a virus. She also warned that future protests would make the ones held this week look like a joke. Opposition far-right party Vox has also provided its support to the protesters, with the party spokesman in Congress, Ivan Espinoza, sending a message online to those taken to the streets. He offered his support to all neighbourhoods across Spain who have decided to demonstrate against the government's management of the coronavirus crisis. Mr. Montero said he was hopeful that the protest will spread like wildfire, adding they will spread very quickly throughout Spain and if they want to stop it, they will only throw gasoline on the fire, which of course they will. The police cracking down on protesters against the government or the police themselves never makes the situation better, that is for sure. However, other politicians have pointed out that the Salamanca district of Madrid is one of the richest in the capital. Far-left party Podemos branded the movement demonstrations of the upper class, pointing out that many of the protesters were carrying golf clubs. Just over 27,000 deaths have been attributed to coronavirus in Spain, with 217 deaths reported on Thursday. I love the word attributed in there. Every time I see these careful wordings, they do make me laugh. Protests in Spain follow astonishing scenes in Berlin last week, which saw a mix of conspiracy theorists and left and right-wing extremists take to the streets. Oh, so if you don't agree with what the government's got to say, regardless of being on the left or right, you are an extremist, according to the media, of course. On April the 24th, hundreds gathered in the centre of Vienna, Austria, to protest at lockdown laws, which, shockingly enough, they didn't decide to call left or right-wing extremists. Well done the Express on that one. Shame you couldn't do the same for the German people who was protesting. But I think you would agree these protests certainly point to the fact that we have all been pointing out and the Ramonian newspapers and EU lovies have been denying for a while and that is that the people of Europe have seriously started to have enough of not only the EU but their own governments especially in relation to the situation the world finds itself in now. You got violent protests happening across multiple countries in the EU. The issues with their bailouts and who and what has got to be paid back. The German Constitutional Court locking horns with the European Court of Justice. And of course, the EU's complete incompetence for the majority of this crisis, if it is still not going on now, of course, which we all know it could well be. Every day, I'm seeing more and more that suggests to me the EU might not last that long, and I certainly hope that is true. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot and I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>